Hey everyone, this is Naturally Genius and today is the start of me vlogging. It's fairly new to me. I'm a little, a little bit nervous because I'll be sharing something really personal and I want to bring this issue to the table because I think some people may benefit from this. It can be a blessing in disguise or it can either make or break you. So it's kind of a little bit bittersweet for me. So what I'll be talking about is having food sensitivities or food intolerances. And I found out how much I'm mildly to severely intolerant I am with foods that I've been eating and it really does explain a lot of the symptoms I've been having for the past few years and I've really been really going downhill so to speak. My health is kind of declining. I mean I'm getting older and it's just years of uh, overeating and lack of exercise finally caught up with me. So I'm truly paying for them. So what I did is because I've been feeling really crappy for the past few years was I just really wanted to be serious about it and really not avoid the situation anymore. I've gained so much weight. I've been feeling, you know, fatigued. Uh, weak, tired all the time and so I took measures and I since I'm going natural and I've been a vegetarian for about 15 years now but I'm I've been really a, been a fried fooditarian if that makes any sense I really really would consume fruits I eat a lot of fried foods. I mean, my culture has a lot of fried foods in it, so it's really hard for me to stay away. And, um, you know, your body just craves all that fat and grease and all the junk and unhealthy stuff that you shouldn't be eating on a daily basis. But anyway, so I got this test, and the way that you do it is through a medical provider, and I got this through my chiropractor and there's a nurse practitioner that that draws your blood takes about four to five vials of blood and they send out for a blood test and it's about the alcat testing it's really an innovative and convenient and effective lab testing for food intolerances and, or food sensitivities. And ALCAT is A-L-C-A-T. It stands for Antigen Leukocyte Antibody Test. And it really just tries to uh, give you a picture of what foods you should avoid. You can reintroduce the foods back into your diet, but depending on what your medical provider tells you to do, it can be from three to six months to a year for you to really change your ways. And I posted on my Facebook saying, I think I said something like, dang you, Alicat test. Thank you. And I hate you at the same time or something like that. But anyway, so once you get your results back, uh, you get this folder right here. It's from the Cell Science Systems. Uh, I am not affiliated with them and what I'll be sharing with you, I am not an expert at all. I am just merely a patient and uh, trying to be more proactive about my health. So I thought I'd introduce this to you guys. Anyway, so you get this, this packet and there's more in here, but uh, that's some of the uh, paperwork. So what it is, is that they test for a food sensitivity and they give you this lovely colorful piece of paper and what 
it is is that there's you know uh green yellow orange and red it's kind of like stop slow go you know kind of thing um so the green area oh sorry wrong way the green area are foods that are recorded acceptable and can be eaten freely we recommend that they be eaten on a rotational basis speaking of rotational this is really what you call the food rotation diet so you would have things on your um in your uh color schemes here color sections except for the orange and the red you rotate your food once every four days so you shouldn't have the same thing every single day or every other day it has to be once every four days so so then the yellow is your mild intolerances and they are um indicated where you can rotate the foods and it should really be avoided for three months and then the orange are foods that you have a moderate intolerance to and should be avoided for three to six months and then red that's the no-no zone really the foods in red should be avoided at all costs for a minimum of six months yeah really sucks there's some things here that I'm severely intolerant to and you find that in every recipe like really garlic I can have garlic so I don't really know what I'm gonna do I actually started last week was the first week I ever tried the rotation plan so this is what the food sensitivity test for day rotation diet looks like very nice hmm. so there's foods in here that have an asterisk on them and that would be your mild intolerances and so yeah so day one you can have the foods you know listed here but then you can't have them on day two, three, or four until day five. But really, if you really want to be successful, you need to randomize your food and really, I guess, follow it to the T. But who really can do that? I mean, I mean, look at me. I, I'm just so like frustrated and overwhelmed right now. So anyway, so last week I followed this diet and I tell ya and in this lovely book it tells you everything that you need to know to understand your ALCAT test results so it's really an optimal wellness through customized nutrition and it tells you everything like congratulations packet is like really Okay, yeah, so I did the blood test, but this is so freaking hard. It's just very hard. And then there's this section in this book where it tells you possible side effects of detoxification. Yes, when you eliminate foods that you love and eat on a regular basis, you will go through withdrawal. And I did. It was the most horrible week I've ever had. They say that it depends on each person. And I talked to a expert from Cell Science Systems. They allow you to, to make a, a phone call where they give you a free half hour consultation. So if you have any questions, you can write them down, ask them, and yes, I did write down my questions and took notes and everything so that I could really get confirmation and clarification on what I read from this packet. Blah, packet. Anyway, so possible side effects of detoxification. 
Each person will react differently to the new eating regimen. The main purpose for the first eight weeks of this program is to achieve detoxification and healing of the body. It is possible that for the first few days, you may feel ill as you're going through the withdrawal process. When I talked to the expert on the phone, she said that some people will have detox symptoms for like a week. And it can go all the way up to six weeks. So yay. And it says not everyone will be affected be affected by withdrawal symptoms. And I am so not lucky. I'm so not lucky. Not lucky at all. Anyway, so aside from foods you should avoid, after the cycle of what your provider tells you to exclude these oops these parts right here the yellow orange and red the mild moderate and severe intolerances you can reintroduce them back to your diet so the way it works is you eliminate them from your diet for however long periods of you know, period of time and your body will actually kind of take a rest from them because I think what I learned from the ALCAT testing and how it's like week two of this uh, food rotation plan is that you really have to really follow the food consumption in moderation. And, you know, that saying exists for a reason. You know, you really shouldn't have the same foods every single day. So, like, you can't have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every single day because then you'll build an intolerance to peanut butter and whatever jelly you put in your bread and then god forbid you'll become sensitive to gluten and gluten is in all breads except for the ones that says gluten free but the test also tells you the sensitivities you may have with functional foods and medicinal herbs so like, you know, like essential oils or any herb supplements that you take. It also tells you sensitivity to chemicals and molds. So things like, you know, if you're sensitive to food dyes, which is in a lot of processed foods, and things like what you put on your skin, and they say, and, and, you know, I agree with them on this, that anything that you put on your skin, like lotion, shampoos, soaps, anything like that, your skin will absorb that and it will go through your bloodstream. So they test you for those chemicals. So like if you use a lot of unnatural products, like you can be sensitive or intolerant to parabens, let's say or prescription drugs or even like acetaminophen like Tylenol or uh, like aspirin or something like that so I am still detoxing I feel it every day I have like daily pains but it's exacerbated because I'm going through the withdrawal process and what you can expect with the withdrawal process is that you're cranky, frustrated, you have a hard time concentrating. Like this week I felt like like I wasn't there, like <laughs> the lights on but nobody's home kind of thing. And kind of forgetful and really snappy because I'm always hungry. I mean I'm always hungry in general, like I love food. It's so funny. I <laughs> kind of tell people it's Kind of like a half joke that I think more about food than my husband so so because I just I'm an eater I live for food instead of you know I need food to live I just live for food and now I'm catching up to me so there's my rambling of the Alcat test and I'm wondering if you guys have ever gotten the test or how you experience going through the change in your diet and how 
how you know how you did if you were successful any tips for me because this is just gonna be really hard like I'm gonna I feel like I cringe about it and it's actually giving me stress just thinking about it and it's just really hard to prepare foods with thou like garlic you know or like prepare different foods for every single day and then rotate that it's just going to be really really hard and i don't i don't know how to cook so uh, i'm just going to be eating really bland foods uh, what they would suggest for you to have is have a food diary write down what you eat then oh also exercise and I am very lazy. I just got into exercising. I do Zumba because it doesn't feel like you're exercising because it's fun. So I'm going to be a twig after this. Yep. Well, my I mean, my whole main point is to really get healthy. I not, I'm not really concerned about really looking good. I just want to feel healthy like if I'm you know if I still remain a little thick you know I won't really, I won't really mind just as long as I don't have the daily pains I have if they can just go away I'll be a happy camper so but yeah I, f I feel like because I am exercising and not eating a lot of calories because of the restricted diet I'm guessing that you're really going to lose weight, like just for the week that I was detoxing and following the, the rotation diet, I feel that a lot of my pants that were really, really snug on me fit. So I, so, I mean, it's a start, but anyway, I hope this would be helpful to at least one of you and you know, please share your experience and any tips for me because I am going through this and I want to be hopeful in being successful. I need all the support I can get because I don't really have the motivation, but I do want to get healthy. So I will periodically vlog. I'm not really sure if it's going to be an everyday thing because... I don't know. I'll have to find time to do that. But I will check in from time to time. And thanks so much for you watching this because you watching this is a start of a support for me. So thanks.